Everything in life is a musical. Anyway, I am Peanut. I am here with the Haley. Hello. And it is day one in the 2020. 13 days of Peanut Ween. And we are beginning with something that I know Haley has never played. Mostly because I told you you've never played it, that I've never played it, and then he went, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, I have the super whip already. I mean, what system is this originally from? The one that you were alive for. Okay, so that's your answer as to how. <laughs> Anyway. Also, you know my first system was my brother's hand-me-down PS2. That being said, welcome to some Castlevania. Uh, just like every other, uh, peanut ween we've done, uh, it will more than likely not be a full walkthrough and just playing until we decide to... No, speedrun the whole thing. So. <laughs> I've never beaten this game. Don't. No. I, I'm not speedrunning shit. Especially not. You can't speedrun. At least I can't once it gets to the fucking Medusa head. No excuses. You stop that. But if we wanted to show the audience something horrifying, why didn't we just pop in that uh, Beauty and the Beast game again? Because be I needed a break from that bull fuck! Horrified by the snowball level. Go away from me. Uh, no! What did you do? Ah! What did you do? The holy water disappeared. Aww. I have no idea why that's important. It's a really good weapon. Aww. Especially against vampires. Yeah, that makes sense. Damn it! I got booty tickle. Give me the heart back. Fun fact, one of my favorite genres of literature is basically boiled down to vampires doing shit that you wouldn't think vampires would ah, do. Ah! Fish people! That was weird. Now mind you, we still need to watch the Creature from the Black Lagoon musical. That was supposed to be for musical week, we never got around to it. That's because we ended up finding something else! Well, I'm making you sit through it. Oh. For anyone who hasn't seen it and doesn't know what I'm talking about, Universal, back, I think, in the early 2000s, uh, had a Creature from the Black Lagoon musical as one of their shows in the park. Stop with the- It is the weirdest combination of horrible and the best fucking thing I've ever seen in my Can life. Can I get some The help? entire thing is on YouTube. It's like half an hour. Just, just go watch it. Just search Creature from the Black Lagoon Musical Orlando. I, like, I don't... Universal Studios. You'll find it. I, I, it's amazing. I, I don't think I wanna. I'm scared. I, I'm making you. But I'm scared. You don't want to hear the hot babe sing about how her nerdy boyfriend won't fuck her and then get seduced by a fish? <laughs> that is a sentence. That is the plot, <laughs> good madam. That is the plot. That is a sentence to say out loud. Yes. I am aware of this. Well, I jumped in the water. So did she. <laughs> And, and, and before anyone says, I know I suck at this. I was saying something before I got distracted. But, oh yeah, vampires doing things that vampires aren't supposed to be able to do. Um, I'm way behind on the hype for the All Souls trilogy by Deborah Harkness. Especially considering I haven't even finished the second book yet. I Depression, reading, it's a thing. But dude... Ah! Matthew Claremont is a vampire, and... I'm not gonna say his exact connection with churches because, you know, spoilers, but. Is he a prostitute? Um, oh, I, I well, mean a priest. No. I can say that with honesty and no spoilers. He was never a priest. But, like, he was heavily involved with churches in his human life and still goes to them in his vampire life, and it's like just. You don't realize how ingrained things are about what certain creatures should be able to do until you read a book. 
that is even with part of the plot before it going, uh, silly humans, they actually get a lot of stuff wrong and there's all this stuff that we can do and they think we can't. Until you realize you get a little freaked out at a vampire going into a church. Did I? Yeah, that's the invincibility thing. But in all seriousness, oh, though, really I got the X. Series, the TV show. If you can, watch the show before you read the book. If you read the book first, stick it out past the first episode or episode, like the first two, trust me. I was pissed as hell because they were changing everything and then I got sucked in because it was actually good. Ah! This boss is driving me batty. Your jokes are driving me batty. You're welcome. Yay! I beat the first stage! Yay! You did the thing! No, give me an extra life. <laughs> I honestly have no idea how many levels are in this, so I'll probably just play a couple game overs. However, I got one of the- I know I got one of the best weapons in the X, just because I can do this. Oh, no! Don't- No, it disappeared! Fuck! It... Ha-ha! Ah! You whore! I don't know what that does, but... I like the music in this. Because it's spoopy. Yes. I like the spoopy. No! Haha! -ha! Fuck you, bat! That was very close. I have no idea how close we are to the Medusa heads, but I know for a fact they are fucking me. <laughs> Okay. No! There they are. They never stop spawning! I have some serious mythological questions about the presence of flying Medusa heads, but nah, I don't think anyone needs to hear me ah! bitch about that. Why not? It's what the channel's for. No, at fair point. So, why are Medusa heads a thing? I thought the whole Gorgon herself was supposed to be the terrifying thing. And this is the part that... Rages everyone! Like, it, it, the, the, no! When she's decapitated, is supposed to be when she's harmless, so I don't get why flying Medusa heads and multiple is a thing. Also, there's a whole lot of scholarship around how Medusa got the short end of the stick and wasn't really a monster because of what happened to her and how Athena may have been trying to protect her rather than curse her, but, but yeah. Just research some of the stuff around the Medusa story. It is way more complicated than you think it is, and it's kind of fascinating. I love it when you go into mythology talk. Well, I mean, a lot of interpretations are colored by modern, schol modern scholarship, and I'll, I'll admit that. But at the same time... No! And that's why when you get hit in the game, you bounce backwards. Good. You want to try? No. Then shut your face hole. <laughs> you were heckling me the whole time I was playing Mario. I mean, I'm your partner. I get to heckle. So I get to heckle too. So shut up. Heckle, beckle, speckle. I kind of really want to play Donkey Kong Country on the channel just to prove to people that I actually can play games. I'm not like. Completely fucking. Yeah, but I, I I have said if I play Donkey Kong Country without Annie, she will hurt me and probably fire me so, before I'm even fully hired. Fine, party mode. Just pass the controller around between the three of us. That no, that's not how it works. Why not? We're doing this here. Because I mean, we could always do one on your channel and then one on mine. Do the one on yours first so she doesn't melt down. 
No, I, I would talk to her about it. Now, do you want to do it competitively? Keep in mind I haven't played since I was like 12. So I'm probably a little rusty. We could always play a couple levels off camera so you can get back to the controls. That would be good. Why did you go downwards? I wanted to duck. Like this or Mario, and I just completely nope, can't do it. Brain doesn't work. No! Apparently, yours is a little iffy too. No, I fucking got hit and bounced off the ground. I mean, that's generally what happens when you fall. Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> My boobo <boobie> did that! <laughs> it's a good song! I love this soundtrack. I used to have a remix of it on my, uh... Back when MP3 players were necessary before Spotify existed. I still had my MP3 player back in college, alright? Well, that's because you were poor. <laughs> I'm mad that you're a <laughs> right? Because I couldn't afford a smartphone, or more accurately, my dad couldn't afford to buy me a smartphone until I was in college. So I had, you remember one of those phones that slid out? To, the like, Blackberry? This, not a Blackberry, but something similar. Like, it, you look at it up and down, and it's just a normal phone. It's got, like, the buttons that you can do the, you know, press the seven key four times to get a fucking S. You can do that. Or you turn it on its side, slide it open, full keyboard. I felt like the baddest bitch when I got that. <laughs> Meanwhile, you don't realize how much, how many people already had it. Oh, I know I was one of the last to have it. Smartphones were well, like... God damn it! First Fuck it, hit me in the pinky toe. Smartphones first became a thing, like, in around 2007-ish, right? Yeah, I got that bitch in 2011. <laughs> By the time fucking iPhones came out. Yeah, and I got the Motorola Razr like two years after the Motorola Razr was the phone to have. <laughs> However... I, I get cool shit. I just wait until it's cheap. And no longer cool anymore. <laughs> My first phone was a fucking Disney Mobile brick, alright? <laughs> you remember when Disney Mobile was a thing for a hot minute? I do not! Son of a bitch! This is why people hate Medusa heads! <laughs> and I think I'm done with Castlevania 1. Because this is meant to just be something, and also, I'm already if you reached. If you fight another Medusa head, you're gonna have an aneurysm. It's in every Castlevania game. Oh god. <laughs> At least to my knowledge. That being said. We're going to end this episode here. Thank you for joining us on the first day of Peanut Ween. We more than likely will do the first three NES Castlevania because that's what I have planned. So. <laughs> Yay! That being said, thank you for watching.